Fellas, it's back! I'm doing it again! It's been seven months! Can you believe it? Seven months since we did this! Welcome back! The, the internet is a big and scary place with a lot of big and scary people. There is so much misinformation! It's impossible to know what to think! My head is so full and I'm so confused! But worry not! I've been around forever, so I know what I'm talking about. And we are here to decipher what are the true and real facts from the outrageous, awful opinions. I asked for your most odious, rancid, utterly rotten video game opinion. Please keep it original. If you talk about Smash Brothers, my eyes are gonna blink glaze over. I don't wanna hear it. I'm just gonna start doing this, and whichever awful tweet we get, that's the one we're rolling with. Uh-oh, we're starting off strong. It's my man, E. It is a little blurry. Whatever. Watch in 1080. Dark Souls is better than any Final Fantasy game. Fundamentally and story-wise. Any Final Fantasy, dude? Bro. That's a lot of games. Is Dark Souls better than every Final Fantasy? This is Dark Souls 1, I think. Because he just beat it. So he's still riding the high from beating Quinn. You know what I'm saying? Like, he beat Quinn and... Why did I say Quinn? I think it's my editor. My editor is named Quinn. That's what it is. Yeah. So most people are saying this is an opinion. Yeah, looks like 65% say this is a non-truth. It's actually a fallacy. Turns out you guys are... Right! It's an opinion! It's a non-truth. There are mad Final Fantasy games. I don't even know if I, I... Listen, I have zero confidence in this, but... Final Fantasy has had, like, 30 games. I bet one of them is better than Dark Souls. It has to be, right? Simply by law of numbers. I think EE is high out of his fucking mind because he finally beat a video game, and he's feeling all jazzed up and excited. So he says this, right? Stupid. Thank you for your terrible opinion. This is our good buddy, Nick Stolfer. Video games should always be released on Saturdays. It's way better waking up, eating breakfast, and playing your new game than it is coming home from work or school tired and exhausted and you're trying to nap. You want games out on Saturday? On the weekend? Damn, that's a lot of opinions. Oh my god. This is a kid 100%. <laughs> they said work. I don't think that's a kid, bro. They said work or school. I think you guys are being too harsh. Okay, 80% say it's an opinion. Uh, listen. You guys are being too hard. It's dumb as shit. It's stupid. That's dumb, and it's an opinion. But I don't, I don't necessarily think this person is 100% wrong. Like, you could be 95% wrong. I actually like Fridays a lot, because you just call out that day, right? If it's a game you really like, three-day weekend. Boom. I loved doing that. I did that for Cuphead. I did that for so many games. It's so much better. Also, there's the issue of actually getting the thing in the mail. Whenever I ordered a game- Oh, here's a pro tip. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. This might technically be fraud. Is that illegal? Did I com- Did I just admit to a felony? Pro tip. No. Just it's steal. not stealing. It's not stealing. Everybody gets their product back. Everybody's happy. No jury in the world would convict me. I own stock in GameStop. I want you guys to know I never pulled out. I need you guys to know I own stock in GameStop, so I'm allowed to do that. I'm a shareholder. Unreliable Narrator says Game Pass is a great idea. Now with many great titles to play, the problem is that no one has the time to actually get their money's worth from the service, except for when it goes on sale for one dollar or something crazy. Most people saying fact. Okay. A lot of Xbox shills tonight. Okay. Welcome, drones. Game Pass is a great idea. But nobody can get their money's worth. Most people are saying fact. Um... I told you! I told you! I told you it would happen! I told you! I told you that would happen! It's Stream Deck! It's not me! It's not GameStop. It's not GameStop. They would never. I own stock. I'm gonna try to hit the button again. If my stream dies, I'll be right back. Okay? Let's try it again. Ready? Okay, it worked. It worked. Okay, this is true. This is true. Game Pass is excellent. The problem is there's way too many games, bro. Now, to say that you can't get your money's worth is kind of crazy. 
Uh, because, like, I, I don't... What do you pay? 15 bucks a month? Um, you have unlimited content, right? The problem is that... Take that gym membership idea, where people just pay, pay 10 bucks a month, and then they forget it. They don't use it. People just buy it, and then maybe they use it. If they do, great. I mean, it's 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 good for a customer experience thing, I guess. If they don't, who cares? You're not losing anything. There are so many games, though, on it. Uh, I wish there were less video games. Like, period. You don't have to play every game. Yeah, but, like, don't your eyes glaze over when you look at that? Like, when you look at something like Game Pass, or you look at, like, Netflix or something, when you see all of those options, I'm just like... Just commit to one? Have you ever tried... Do okay, I tried playing XCOM the other night. Literally, two nights ago. Tried playing XCOM, played, like, three missions. My guy died, I turned the game off. Nope. I'm not a bad commander. I can't commit to any games, and I don't think I'm the only one. Gamers just... We don't... Right, guys? Us gamers. We don't do it. Oh, this is it. This is the one. I love this one. Dual Main Jones says fishing in games is basically always boring. Is this true or not? A lot of fishing games and a lot of games that aren't about fish. I actually once played a video game that was all about fishing. It was fun. Most people say, no, that's not true. I love a fish. Those people, of course, are wrong. No, fishing sucks. He's right. Wrong button. Oh. It's true! Yes, it's true! The problem is that you guys have been brainwashed by all this stupid PG-13 wholesome bullshit where, like, you just sit there with your rod in the water and then the button, the controller shakes, and then you hit a button and you catch a fish. It's not fun! Fishing just is, is a meme. People say that they like fishing for likes. You get hearts on the internet. Oh my god, this is so- I love catching a fish. Oh, I can pet the dog. I'm never gonna enjoy a fishing game. Um, don't talk about that froggy and the cat what? guy. Uh, it's not... I don't care. Fishing sucks! Tyler says the smartphone marketplace is sorely underutilized. Right now it's only filled with free-to-play games, but the lack of dedicated portable consoles could make it a prime candidate to fill the void. Controller peripherals, Razer, Kishi, aren't terribly expensive either. Hmm. Video games on your phone? It's crazy you guys are saying fact. That's actually insane to me that all of you would say fact, because I know when you guys saw that Blizzard presentation about Diablo, you were just mad. Oh my god, Diablo on the phone? Ugh. You guys were so mad at Blizzard for making Diablo phone game. And now here you all are like, oh yeah, that's true. Oh my god, that's so true. I, I can't believe he said such a true thing. But he did. No, he's right, and so are you. But I'm still mad at you. Phones, for some reason, don't have any good video games. Isn't that weird? Phones don't have any good video games. I keep trying to find good video games, uh, and I, I can't. It's like idle games and, and gotcha, you know? I would like more experiences, bro. I want more stuff. Where's my 2D platformer with mobile in mind? You know what I'm saying? Everybody has a phone. We need like a we need like a killer app for the phone that isn't anywhere else. You know what I mean? Mario Odyssey 2 is app store and iPhone only. Only place you could go to play these games. Super Mario Run. Shut up! I mean a real game. How about WarioWare Mobile? Bro, see? They can make so much money. Oh my god. There's just so many things that could be on, on mobile. And it sucks that nobody's doing it. And I feel like in five years, we're going to look back and be like, damn, that person made a lot of money from doing what we all should have been doing a long time ago. Matt Thomas says, too many AAA games these days rely on RPG elements like leveling up abilities, armor, when more games need to be like Uncharted and just straight linear. Getting rid of skill trees? Leveling up? Get 100 kills with a bow? This is just God of War recency bias. You think so? No, because you could level up in God of War, I thought. You could, like, upgrade shit. Most people saying, yes, this is true. 60% to 40. A bit more contentious than we've seen in the past. Uh, unfortunately, though, you're fucking wrong. And here's why. Observe. You see this game? That game just came out, like, not Uncharted, obviously, but a single player, uh, long linear story-based game from Naughty Dog just came out and all of you fucking hated it. Don't say you want this when you don't. 
I love leveling up. I will level up in any game I can. I love it when the numbers go up. I love getting experience. I love getting 10 kills on the bow and the shotgun and the pistol. It's amazing! That's my opinion, which means if I have an opinion that goes against it, that makes this an opinion. Sorry, Matt. But that was terrible. Oh, God, I'm going to break it. Look, when I tap the screen, it turns white. <laughs> it's kind of fun. I got to stop doing that. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Throw up the pole. Our good friend Phoenix says graphics do matter a lot. Marvel Infinite is much more interesting gameplay-wise than MVC3, but looks so bad that it could never live up to the name. Same goes for Artifact vs. Hearthstone and Dota 2 vs. LoL. You'll probably never have mass appeal without appealing graphics. Mmm. Look at that, bro. It was like dead 50-50 for a while. And keep in mind, what this person is talking about is mass appeal. This is crucial. Think. Okay? Massive casual market. Hmm? 55% say, no, this is not true. This is actually an opinion. 45% say, yeah. I think he's right. So do I, bro. No, you guys are wrong on this one. Graphics matter a lot, but hold on. Let me be clear. I'm having too much fun with this now. This is now the main star of the video. I love this. What I think is more important than graphic quality, and I hope you guys will shake with me on this, is art direction. I don't care how good the graphics are, I just want them to be stylized and interesting visually in such a way that they don't blend into the static of the game industry. You know what I'm saying? There are a lot of games that have sort of made their money in being uh, really pretty. And I think that's neat. But, but, bro, they're spitting here. Look at this. Artifact versus Hearthstone. Dota 2 versus League. Like, I, when you compare them, right? It feels like there's no comparison. Because one of them is butt ugly, but like hardcore. And the other one is pretty and casual, but it's a lot more appealing, right? All bad games. Okay, I got back into League recently, so we're not going to slander it, okay? I, I've, I lost my battle, okay? I got to go back to rehab. Oh, boy, Dapper Coat on this one. Nothing to do with video games, but this is always what I like to see. I like to have a couple of these. The meat tier list goes pork, chicken, fish, the others, beef. Steak-obsessed adults give chicken tender only kid energy. I don't know what he means by that last part. Do you know anyone that's obsessed with steak? I don't know anybody that is obsessed with steak. Also, what are the other meats? Are we talking, like, lamb... Uh, venison... Bison is excellent? I've never... I thought they were extinct. Is that a buffalo? I found out again recently about century eggs. They're like black eggs that you bury in the ground, and you eat them after a thousand years. <laughs> Isn't that insane? Coney, what's the weirdest thing you've eaten? I'm pretty conservative in my palate. I don't eat bullshit. I've eaten sheep brain and intestines. Weird flex! But thank you for telling the class. Dapper Coat, are you okay? This is stupid. You shouldn't have tweeted at me. This is dumb. <laughs> this is dumb. Like, the fi okay. I got the stick. What's this doing up here? Bro? Pork one? A lot of the world doesn't even eat pork. You know that, right? It can't be number one. Exclusive DLC meat over chicken, which, uh, honestly, objectively speaking... Objectively speaking, I don't think chicken is the best. It's not my favorite, but chicken's got to be number one, right? It has to be. Everybody loves chicken, and you can make it in so many delicious ways. Uh, I'm a stand for beef. I'm a cow guy. I hate fish, and I'm not really... Uh, the others are so, like, there's such a sometimes treat, right? Th this reads to me like someone who ate way too much ground beef as a kid and now hates it, right? I had an experience when I was in high school going into college, and we had Chick-fil-A cater. And there were so many Chick-fil-A nuggets, the tray was huge. Hundreds of nuggets. Do you know how many nuggets I ate that night? Enough to make me vomit three times and not eat Chick-fil-A for two years. That happened to me. And I think that Dapper Coat has the same experience. What kind of pork are you eating, bro? That sounds delicious. 
I want good pork. Uh-oh, a fighting game one. Oh boy, people love these. Everyone talks about how fighting game tutorials need to be better, but really the issue is that new players aren't encouraged often enough to just play the game with other people and experience things themselves. The idea that you need to be ready to fight others is damaging. Let me go ahead and show you what this is. Well done passing the veteran course. As impressive as that is, you're still not ready to take on other players in versus mode or network mode. Uh-oh, got gate kept by the, by the tutorial. That's tough. 75% safe fact on this. And uh, listen, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. This was a softball. I was hoping this would be the first one. This one's very easy. But it's weird that it needs to be talked about. Everybody wants to be, like, good and competitive now. Like, you want to get into the ranked right away. And I think that's something that, honestly, like, the Mortal Kombat games nail. Where it's just like, just go in and have fun. Just hit buttons. You'll have a good time. When it comes to more niche series, I guess you have to foster the sense of competition. Because those are going to be your diehards. Uh, and, and make it b better, you know, over, over time. And they're the people that are going to stick with it. I just wish these fighting games would just teach people to go in and die and make mistakes and lose. But then again, maybe that's when they start losing over and over and get mad and leave. But Coney, what about games that have both a casual and competitive online mode? No, 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 no. No, no such thing. There's no such thing, and I think we both know that. If a game has a ranked mode and a friendlies mode, people are going to try hard in the ranked mode, and then there are a lot of people that are going to try hard in the friendlies mode. It sucks more in 1v1 games, too, because you don't get to hide behind a team. It's not like you win or lose with that. You are losing to one guy who knows who you are, and he knows that he's fucking you up. And I don't know if he will remember that or not, but it kind of hurts when it's, like, that intimate. You know what I mean? He won't? Yeah, they never do remember your name. But it feels like they do when you're getting fucked up, right? <laughs> it feels personal. It's like, I will never live this down. If you put random... Uh, like names or whatever it is hid people's names in the casual mode I bet people would dick around more because people have this attachment to their name and they have this idea that like they're good I'm sort of going off the main point which is that you should just play the fighting game bro play the fighting game learn make mistakes figure stuff out by instinct and then you know maybe you'll get good or maybe you won't well 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 Leroy says Sekiro is bad because I don't want to learn how to parry. Is that true? Could that be true? Does that make it a bad game? I'm going to give you some time on this one. Really think it over. Activate your frontal lobe, please. I'm glad this was the last one. I'm genuinely glad this was the last one. About 75% of people say it's an opinion. Well, uh... <laughs> I think he's spitting. I think he's spitting, bro. Before you guys tell me to get good and call me a bad gamer, first off, I'm not. Second off, look at this. Sekiro is bad because I don't want to learn to parry. That makes Sekiro bad to him, to Leroy. You understand? It is a fact that Sekiro is bad to Leroy, and that makes it a fact. The problem is that there's not really much Here else you go. can do. What? Cuphead is bad because I don't want to learn. You don't have to. to you don't have to learn how to parry in Cuphead. Don't have to learn. Nope. Not even during the King Dice fight. There's an invincibility super, and you could just use that if you really want to. My point here is that Sekiro is so stuck on this one mechanic. If you don't like that mechanic. You, you're not going to like the game. The game is bad to you. And that's a fact. Think about it. If you don't want to parry and you don't like parrying, how will you ever beat that one guy? Giraffe? That guy. The giraffe. I think that, the centipede guy. Yeah. You have to go ching, 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 like that. You know? If I didn't want to learn how to parry and I took the game took me forever to beat and I had to beat every single boss and I got to that guy and I couldn't beat him without parrying, I would think it was a bad game. I thought he would say game, but no, he just said bad. Just don't play it. Exactly. He's not going to because he doesn't want to have to learn to parry. And I think that's his God-given right. You can't take that away from him.
Do I like parrying? Oh, hell yeah. I love that game. <laughs> I love parrying. That's my favorite game. I love that game. And that's going to do it for Factor Opinion. Guys, did you learn anything today? I hope you did, especially in that last one. Comment below what you thought. Did I get one wrong? What did you guys think? Chat? Hold on. Let's get them up there. They are having a fit. Oh, boy. Don't, don't people ignore me. Come on. Not in front of YouTube. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. We'll do this more if you guys like it. I don't know. Maybe we'll keep doing it. Goodbye. Don't people ignore me. They're <laughs> ignoring me. I just did this for an hour for you so you would be happy and now you ignore me. I was spinning on that last one, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Once you learn to un understand and appreciate others' perspectives, you're going to be a lot happier. Okay?